Yo, New York Yankees fans, yet again, this is Felix from NYNews.com, like always, all the time. Nice. You are now tuned into nyynews.com radio with your host, NYY News, Felix, for the latest New York Yankees news and rumours. You are now tuned into NYY News TV. Let's start off the show with another banger. Step off the train I'm walking down your street again Past the door But you don't live there anymore I see you since you've been there Now you disappear somewhere I gotta spend it Sounds all for the things I miss you And I miss you oh. And I miss you And we are back with a fourth episode of Hola Como Estas with yours truly, NYY News Felix on NYY News TV. Or if you want to pronounce it on 9news.com. I know for a fact people that don't follow baseball see that link everywhere. They're like, what's 9news? Is that a Vietnamese? Felix, that's it. You've been canceled. Hashtag Felix is a racist. Oh, stop it. Stop it. You know somebody named Trevor Clarkson or something like that is going to start that hashtag. It's always a, a Trevor or a Dustin, Dustin Baker. Shut up, Felix. My college professor taught me otherwise. You just can't make jokes like that. Did you guys catch Twin Bill? Those two went on like Hugh Hefner. By the way, those two are the future. They're very talented. I'm not joking around. I like all the shows on this platform, but those two... They're like still young, so they have a lot of time to uh, perfect their craft. And they already have the voice. They have like the radio voice. So like five years from now, I could see them going places. Not because they had bathrobes on their show and look like Hugh Hefner. I'm just stating facts. Speaking upon great shows on this platform, do you guys check out Ozzy Gain and Ozzy Gain Jr.? By the way, uh, Oni is joining them. He was in Europe. He's another great guy, has great takes as well. We all know Ozzy, right? But Ozzy Gein Jr., that guy's talented. He has like a high baseball IQ, like literally not even baseball IQ. Like generally, he's like a very smart guy. Obviously, I enjoy listening to Ozzy Gein all the time for years now. He's a legend. He's also a comedian, a great personality. Loved his takes on the show. Love it all the time. But what really, really impressed me, I'm not trying to take anything away from Ozzy Gain, was his son, uh, Ozzy Gain Jr. That guy's going places. Any big company scouting for talent? All the people that we have on NYU News TV, I mean, if somebody with millions of dollars comes to anyone on this team, and for an example, Gary Sheffield Jr., you put that guy on TV, he's going to make you a lot of money. If you're a millionaire... And let's say you want to make a profit or whatever. You want to grow whatever the hell you want to create or invest in m News. If you're a millionaire and pass up on a company like m News, you're a dumbass. 
We have an all-star team here, baby. And that's what NYY News has been for years now. We want to showcase talent. We want them to grow, be successful. And, you know, sky's the limit. All these guys are part of the team. We're going to the moon. By the way, one of the fun things about my show is that I could just talk about whatever. I don't have to continuously talk about baseball. I could talk about other stuff. That's what I told Pete. If I'm going to have a show, it's going to be like a comedic, Howard Sternish type of feel. But at the same time, I want to attract uh, people that are kind of into baseball and show them. I'm not saying baseball is boring, but let's say they're not into baseball and they believe in all the stereotypes. I know growing up all my life, I played baseball. And a lot of people don't know this, that baseball players are freaking funny as hell. People that are not fans of baseball really don't know this and they don't see it. They thought the movie Major League was a parody, but realistically, l let me bring that back. Yes, it was a parody, it was comedy, but generally speaking, baseball players, a high majority of them are goofballs. They like to have fun. They're funny as hell. And you know, with this show, I want to accomplish that. I want to show the comedic side of baseball. Let me not get ahead of myself. This is a baseball platform, so let's talk baseball. Let's talk about the Hall of Fame snubs. And I'm going to play 4D chess with your brain right now. You see all these guys that are getting snubbed because they took steroids or they were accused of taking steroids. Most of them never got caught. But there was like some kind of suspicion that they were on steroids. Look, this is where I get all inception with your brain. I'm going to get Dr. Strange with you. Look, in 50 or 100 years, you're going to have athletes that are augmented. And what I mean by that, that you're going to have players with robotic legs, robotic arms, chips in their brains, and they're going to be allowed to play these sports because human evolution is going to take us there. So for an example, you're going to have, I'm not saying somebody lost a limb. They're going to do this purposely where they uh, augment their body to make it better. So for an example, if you throw 80 miles per hour in the future, oh, all you have to do is just augment your arm and walk around like you're the winter soldier and, and pitch like 120 miles per hour. What I'm trying to say here is all these players that took steroids... They're, they're going to look like choir boys compared to all of these augmented players. And don't tell me that will never happen because it's going to happen. So all these riders snubbing players like Barry Bonds, Sammy Sosa, Mark McGuire, Manny Ramirez, Alex Rodriguez, Gary Sheffield. I mean, you're not going to be alive to see this, but in the future, you're going to have players putting up quadruple the numbers that these players put up and then what yeah see that that was 4d chess so with that being said let's take a quick break and i'll return after this if you're listening to us on youtube and you're not subscribed already then make sure to hit that subscribe button lock on my balls locked on my balls the only yankees podcast that's locked on your balls presented by manski <laughs> Locked on my balls, locked on your balls. The only thing that'll be locked on your balls. Locked on your balls. Your balls will be saved, you're locked on my balls. Locked on my balls. The only thing that's locked on balls. At the gym, locked on your balls. At the grocery store, locked on your balls. At the post office, locked on your balls. Locked on my balls. The show will be locked on balls. Lock all my balls, you're now in the game. Lock all my balls, you're now in the game. Lock all my balls, you're now in the game. Lock all my balls. The number to call is 646-820-9488. That number again is 646-820-9488. Leave us a voice message. <laughs> Pete, Pete, we have to take that off of Fiverr. If we're going to put an ad or whatever the hell that was, a podcast, locked on my balls, at least let's start charging people 50, 100, 
Let that be the last $5 ad, or shall I say $4, because Fiverr takes about a buck. Matter of fact, let's read it on my show. What does that uh, listing say? It says, for $5, I will play your ad on my up-and-coming Yankees channel. So the reason that was played is because if we don't play it, the account would get a bad review. So there you go. Locked on my balls. Check that out. So continuing, speaking upon the Hall of Fame and the writers, there's one player in particular that I wanted to talk about, and his name is Alex Rodriguez. In my opinion, this is my opinion. Ever since A-Rod retired, he has tried to repair his image. And has it worked? <laughs> you could say in a non-baseball environment, it has worked. But for baseball, obviously, it has not. Also, Aaron literally got busted for PEDs. Others, like Barry Bonds and Roger Clemens, they did not. And you could correct me on that if I'm wrong in the comment section below. If my memory serves me correct, MLB themselves never busted him. But, of course, we all know MLB busted uh, A-Rod. So the reason why I wanted to bring him up is that his whole facade seems fake to me. I believe if A-Rod lets loose, if you see more of the real A-Rod... I think people would start liking him more. I'm not saying people don't like him now, but I think that whole facade that he has after retirement, you know, trying to clean up his image, you see him everywhere, you know, uh, dating J-Lo on a whole bunch of TV shows. I don't know. It just seems fake to me. It's like he wants people to like him. But like I said, I think being his true self will liberate him and he'll probably have better success. I'm not saying he's going to get into the Hall of Fame. As I was joking earlier, that in 100 years you might see augmented uh, players play professional sports. And it's going to take something drastic like that to get players like A-Rod into the Hall of Fame, even though they might not be alive by then. But it's going to take something drastic like that. Let's not forget Kurt Schilling. I heard Jeff Passan on the Michael K show a couple of days ago. He said Kurt Schilling should be in the Hall of Fame even though he doesn't agree with his politics. And the one line that caught my attention was when Jeff Passan said, Kurt Schilling's views are bad for humanity. Let me ask Jeff Passan a question. How many people has Kurt Schilling killed? I'm guessing zero. Even though he admits Kurt Schilling should be in the Hall of Fame, this is a mentality that most of these writers have. It's called elitism, where they believe something and they think others should believe the same thing. And if they don't, oops, Kurt Schilling, who was a tremendous pitcher, is not allowed in the Hall of Fame. Here's a newsflash. There's billions of people in the world. Not everyone is going to agree with what you agree with. It doesn't matter if it's politics. It doesn't matter if it's sports. It doesn't matter what happens in their daily lives. People are different. You might have different responsibilities, let's say, if you live on a farm. You might have different responsibilities, let's say, if you live in a big city. And those responsibilities mold you into who you are and what you believe in. So to Jeff Passan again, if Kurt Schilling is bad for humanity, you should stop taking airplanes. Start by setting an example. It's always the people crying about other people that don't set it themselves. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, these are the same kind of people crying about carbon emissions. And them, themselves, according to them, according to their ideology, they're the biggest polluters out there. You know why? Because they have the most money. And they have the most means to get to, let's say, Los Angeles, to New York, back and forth for business. So Kurt Schilling being bad for humanity is a joke. 
With that being said, the moment you guys have been waiting for for weeks now, Hubbard Smith versus Daniel Johnson. Let's get to it. We are now at the moment, the moment you guys all been waiting for, the showdown, or shall I say the smackdown, Hubbard Smith versus Daniel Johnson. Hubbard, Daniel, welcome again to Hola Como Estas. Thank you, Felix, for having me on once again. Thank you, Felix, or may I call you Felix. Thank you again for having me on Hola Como Estas. Well, thank you, Daniel, for being diverse and calling me my name in Spanish. Hubbard, welcome on the show once again. Again, Daniel, you too. Where do we begin? If you guys didn't know, Hubbard Smith leans more to the right side of politics. Daniel Johnson is what you call a liberal. He leans on the left side of politics. So let's get this out the way. Last week, Hubbard Smith, he went off. He said he wanted to debate Daniel Johnson. So here we are. We put it together, and these two gentlemen are about to debate. Let's get some rules out the way first. You guys can say whatever the hell you want to say. But if it gets out of control where you guys are talking over each other, we're, we're going to stop the interview. Do you guys agree on that? I agree to anything you say as long as I could tear into this liberal piece of trash's asshole. <laughs> well, it seems this guy does not like me, but yeah, I agree on the terms. And before we begin, these two are Yankees fans. The only reason why I'm having them on the show. But they disagree politically. So without further ado, Hubbard Smith versus Daniel Johnson. Can I go first? Heck, I don't mind. Go ahead. Yeah, no problem. No problem. You could go first, Albert. <sighs> the hell are you doing, Hubbard? I'm getting into war mode. This son of a bitch, Daniel Johnson, this sleepy Joe, liberal voting, twinkle toe, rainbow loving bitch. Decided, when he was on your show, to target Hubbard Smith Jr. Now, if I recall, my son goes to school in South Carolina. We all know Hubbard Smith, which is me. I live in South Carolina. So how did Daniel Johnson's son, Richard, know about my son? I got an idea, because I appeared on this show first. And like usual, these damn liberals went snooping around. Well, hold on there, mister. Why couldn't it have been another Hubbard Smith Jr.? Look at this soft bitch trying to say or discriminate against folks like me. He thinks everybody that has views like me are named Hubbard. How dumb does this guy think I am? So coincidentally, you trying to say I appeared one week before you on this show, introduced my son, Hubbard Smith Jr., and one week later, your son is snitching on my son? You going to hell, Daniel. <laughs> hell is a myth, silly. Not because you're a liberal. Because you're a damn liar. But maybe too because you're a liberal, but you're a damn liar. Look, if it was your son, I apologize. Matter of fact, if Richard's lying to me, he's going to spend 20 minutes staring at a wall. But realistically, if he was your son or not, his tweets were hateful and harmful. Me and Richard do not regret reporting those tweets. We made Twitter a little bit more safe. So if we're guilty of that, so be it. Report this. Report my balls in your mother's mouth. Jeepers, that was uncalled hold on there, for. Hubbard. Hold, hold on there, Hubbard. I know I said you could say anything, but don't don't bring anybody's mother into this. I'm not apologizing to no damn liberal. Watch this. You drink fluoride, Daniel, and you can shove mass mandates up your ass. Cut it off, Hubbard. If you're going to continue to talk to me this way... We, we could meet in person. Watch this again. Sleepy, poopy pants, 
Joe Biden stole the 2020 election. That is a lie, Hubbard. According to Snopes.com, he did not. You take any more vaccines, Daniel? You take your government candy yet again, Daniel? This is preposterous. Don't tell me you didn't get your booster shot yet, Hubbard. Whoa, 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 whoa. Time out, time out. I'm a libertarian-minded person. So if Daniel wants to put something in his body that's his choice, Hubbard, you as well. If Daniel, like you say Hubbard, supposedly wants to take more government candy, that's his choice. So come on, come on. Uh, stop um, belittling uh, Daniel here. No, if Hubbard wants to play hardball, I can play it too. Hubbard Smith, have you screwed any of your cousins lately? Fuck Is your father you, and mother related? Fuck Why you. do you sound like you have Fuck a penis you, in your bitch. throat, Hubbard? Bring it. Are those the only words in your vocabulary? Right, 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 right. I'm going to have to stop this because I said in the beginning, if you guys talk over each other, go back and forth like this, I'm going to stop the interview. So I'm going to stop it now. Any last words you guys want to say? Hubbard, if you want to debate me, you can debate me in person. Fine, I'll drive up there to New York City. I do it all the time to catch Yankees games. No problem for me. You named the date and the time, Daniel. Heck, that's great. I could do it a week from now. Felix, get, get in contact with me and Hubbard. Set that up. No, 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 no. I'm not going to be in charge of that. If you guys want to debate in person, I'll give Daniel Hubbard's number, Hubbard's uh, Daniel's number. You guys talk it out with each other. And you guys update me next week. As you heard, that was intense. And hey, I got good news for you guys. A week has passed, and we now know what happened. I'll play it in a few. I'll give you a hint. Hubbard and Daniel <laughs> met in person. I made a recent video on my channel, the Ammo Wine News channel, separate from this one. And I talked about how I could see Freddie Freeman becoming a Yankee. Because you would have to think the Braves would be the favorites to land Matt Olson. Obviously, Austin being a native of Atlanta, Georgia. I'm going to play a little clip from that video if you guys missed it. Check it out. So, Yankees fans, let's have a little chatty do. You know that little feeling you get? What people would call their intuition? Well, mine is telling me that Freddie Freeman is on the top of the Yankees list. For a number of reasons. And when I say top of the Yankees list, I mean top of the list of the Yankees list if they signed somebody big via free agency. Why? Because there's a good chance that the Braves might trade for the A's Matt Olson, who is another Yankees fan favorite, and they could easily trade for him. I'm not saying the Yankees don't have the pieces, which they do. Their minor league system is beast. They have a whole bunch of arms. And besides that, offensively, you could say whatever, but Overall, their minor league system is solid. I can see Freddie Freeman signing with the Yankees for a number of reasons. There's been talk that he's looking for a five-year deal in the range of $150 million, which is about $30 million per season. Yes, uh, Freeman is going to turn 33 in 2022, but if he's looking for a five-year deal, he'll be about what? 38 years old when his contract expires. But I will say this, if you're the Yankees, do you want aging players playing the infield? Let's say LeMahieu, he's going to be signed till his late 30s as well. I'll say this, if this was two years ago, I would give Freddie Freeman that five-year contract. But as of now, I am not signing a Freddie Freeman if it's not for like three seasons. With, let's say, an option for four fear. And realistically, thinking about his age, I don't think he's going to get $30 million per season. Maybe his first two seasons, but I don't see him getting that, that big 150 contract. Here's more reasons, and this is just my opinion, why I believe Freddie Freeman is on top of the Yankees list. I think Cashman wants to repeat the signing of Mark Teixeira. Even though he was younger, the Yankees went out and signed Cesar Sabathia. They signed Burnett. And then they signed Mark Teixeira. 
And don't quote me on that order. It's just what I recall. I believe Cashman wants to repeat the success he had in 2009. Even if the window is one to three seasons of winning a World Series. Freeman is just one of those players. We know he's great, right? He's great. He's one of those tall dudes that one season he almost had 200 hits. We know he has pop. He has power. We know he could hit for average. Defense is good. He's a really great player. And he's not, you know, I know he's up there in age, but he's not asking for, let's say, a Robinson Cano type of contract. You know, a player in his 30s being a free agent asking for 10 years. I think if the Yankees could get him down to, let's say, the $25 million per season range, 22 to 25, I think they'll accept five years. Let me rewind back a little. I think $22 million per season, I think the Yankees would bite on that. And there was my take on Freddie Freeman. By the way, guys, I'm going to get a little bit emotional. I have some horrible, sad news. Adam King is not going to be appearing on his show anymore because Adam King is dead. Man, life was so blatantly rigged for him. This is beyond I recorded rigged. the whole thing. I'll play the audio. You guys listen to it. Damn, man. I came to Florida to avoid all the noise in New York City, man. Who the hell is making all that noise at 3 o'clock in the morning, man? I'm trying to sleep. Got my dogs barking up a storm. Man, I gotta get up now. Let me go grab my gun and see what this is all about. It's dark as hell outside, man. Yo, you. Identify yourself. Can't see his face, man. Yo, don't come any closer until you tell me who you are, man. If you keep coming forward like that, like a zombie, I'm going to let off a warning shot. Now, you don't want to speak, and you're on my property. This is private property, man. I'm going to let off a shot in the air. You take one more step, I'm going to do it. Damn, man. Man, this motherfucker's still coming to me. And I can't see his face. Too much fog here, man. Hey, yo, homie, I don't know if you're deaf or not. If you come 20 feet to my house, I'm going to have to lay you down, man. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. He's, he's running to me. Oh, stop, man. Stop. I don't want to do this, man. Stop charging me. Stop. Fuck, man. I just killed someone. Let me see who this dumb motherfucker was. Let me turn him around. He had a face mask. Let me take it off. Oh, my God. I just killed Adam King. I got I to gotta call Pete. Yo, yo, Pete! I just killed Adam King. I don't know what to do, man. I just—he—he he just went on my property. Oh, shit. I couldn't see his face. It, 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 there was fog everywhere. You killed Adam he King. He came charging at me. He, he didn't say anything. And I killed him, man. Man, even that dude's death is blatantly rigged. I don't know what to do, man. This is gonna fuck up everything. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Take him over to the butcher shop on Dicky Smalls Boulevard. Between about three to five, there's nobody there. You could chop him up and you get him out of here real quick. Wait, 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 wait. I done. thought of something. The laws in Florida are different. He stepped on private property. I have the right to defend my home after numerous warnings. Man, you were a little trigger happy. You gotta take it easy, man. You shot Adam King. So blatantly rigged. Bro, I'd take care of that if I was you, man. Get him out of there. Oh, shit. This dude is still breathing. This dude has a bullet in his head, and he still has a pulse. Looks like he wants to talk. Yo, yo, Adam, say something, man. You okay? How the hell are you still alive, man? Is he a vegetable now? Oh, oh, shit, I think he's about to say something. Hey, just... Oh, shit, he's talking. What? I just what? Wanted. Wanted what, buddy? Tell me. Be the... Be what? Be what, man? Th- tell me, man. King's 
Oh, come on, Adam. Don't leave us. H- hang in there. Hang in there. We-, we all know you were the king's source. Don't don't leave us, man. Check his pulse. Damn, he stopped breathing. Damn, I was such a fucking idiot, man. I killed Adam King. He was going to make us millions. This was blatantly rigged. I don't know. I don't know what you want to do with that one, but I'm not going to be on the phone saying it. I'm going to talk to you later, bro. Let's take a moment. A moment of silence. For Adam King. A.K.A. Top Sports Mind. A.K.A. The King Source. Adam, you'll be missed. Let's honor his memory by playing his theme song one more time. He's ringing, ringing in Adam King. He's calling to say things are ringed. His takes are really cold. He's a classic Twitter troll. Adam King. Hello, no one is available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Damn, I'm going to miss ringing in with Adam King. By the way, I got everything sorted out. I was in my legal boundaries, so I'm good on that. So, is everybody ready for the Caribbean series? Who you got? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. I got the Dominican Republic. Los Gigantes del Cibao. Hey, I'm a little biased because I'm Dominican. So, as promised, part two. Hubbard Smith, Daniel Johnson. What went down? It just happened a day ago. Take a listen. Take a ride and I'm finally at my destination. Well, well, well. If it isn't Daniel Johnson in the flesh, I'm finally here. Hubbard Smith. I I can't hear you, Hubbard. Uh, Come a little closer. What do you mean? I can hear you just fine, but all right. Closer. There you go. Closer. Oh, okay. That's fine. Let's settle all differences once and for all. I'm going to live stream this on YouTube. (laughs) Before you do that, Hubbard, look around you. What the? Who are these guys? you now, Mr. Smith. Make sure you tie him up. Put him in the trunk. He should be knocked out cold for a few hours. As we talked about earlier, let's do him weekend at Bernie style. You know where to bring him. Let's teach Hubbard Smith a great lesson. Duh, Vazdilix. Yes, master. As you wish. Can I please my friend on this couch? He very drunk. Sure, no problem. If he wake up, don't let him leave. Let him stay only in. I'll be back to pick him up in three hours. How's it going, hot stuff? Can you hear me? Ooh, looks like you're a little drunk there. Nice shades. You've got that whole broke back mountain thing going on. I'll just wait till you wake up. too much to drink. Get your hands off of me. Who are you? Relax. Your big tall friend told me to look after you. What friend? What is this place? Why is there so many rainbows and half naked men all over the place? (laughs) You're so silly. You don't know where you are? 
your big dance playground where guys like me and you play. I should have known that bitch Daniel set me up. I'm going to kill him. Relax. Where are you going? Fuck you. I got a little surprise for these bitches. Where's the band? What the hell? What is Peter Alonzo from the Mets doing here? I should have known they didn't do that plucks his eyebrows like that. Ain't a man. Here's the bathroom. You, get the hell out of here. I gotta use the bathroom right now. Bitch, this ain't some kind of fetish. I said get out of the bathroom right now. Uh, let's see if I still got it. If one of these twinkle toe bastards ain't violate me. Yep, there it is, under my nutsack. Yep, this little device was made by my friend Sergio from Russia. This little thing right here can take out any electronic device within a 300 foot radius and knock any human out cold for 12 hours. Luckily for me, I cover my phone in aluminum foil. I got a little surprise for these bitches on the dance floor. Hey, you're back. Fuck you. Let me set the timer on this thing. Ten seconds will be enough for me to run into the bathroom. Take cover. Look at all these spawns of the devil. They have no idea who's in town. Hubbard Smith. Take that. Fun's about to be over. As advertised. Let me call my good friend Menthol Man in Texas. Hello? Menthol Man, it's me, Hubbard. I need you to meet me in New York City within 48 hours. Once I get a hold of a Morse code device, I'll transmit the location. Hubbard Smith, out. This bitch Daniel Johnson has no idea who he decided to fuck with. Look at all these bitches out cold on the floor. Woo! <laughs> Hubbard Smith. This city is going to remember Lonnie. <laughs> Yo, what the hell was that? Is Hubbard on the FBI most wanted list now? Just to make it clear, I have nothing to do with whatever the hell Hubbard did. But I have a feeling we're going to hear more from Hubbard and Daniel as Hubbard Smith is now in New York City looking for Daniel. So, New York Yankees fans, this has been another episode of Hola Como Estas exclusively on and will wine use TV episode 4. I will check you out for the next Thank you for listening to NYY News Radio. Tune in again next time for the latest New York Yankees news and rumors. Before it hits the front page, and while one needs for the latest Yankee trades, and while one needs shut the door, get the save, and while one needs huh? and while one needs where, and while one needs rep the white and navy blue, and while one needs Felix got the latest scoop, and while one needs heard a rumor, want the truth, and while one needs and while one needs and while one needs dot com. You are now listening to. Hans Hansberger production. Dance for me. Dance. Hans on the MIC. Get you busy in NYC. Hans from Germany. Dance. Dance for me. Robert. Do a tour girl. Dave. Do a tour girl. Clark. Do a tour girl. Francisco. Do a tour girl. Kaiser. Do a tour girl. Carlos. Do a tour girl. Now dance for me. Dance for me. Now dance for me, dance for me, Hans Hansberger on the MIC, all up in NYC, Hans Hansberger from Berlin, Germany, <laughs> Hans Hansberger.